So today I want to talk about a lens I think every Fuji owner should own, the Fujifilm 16-55. to As always, build quality. Now, the build quality of the 16 to 55 is immaculate. It is one of Fuji's top of the line lenses. It's an all metal construction and it's extremely heavy. It's actually the heaviest lens I've ever used. The lens itself comes in about one and a half pounds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's extremely noticeable, especially when using a small camera like the Fujifilm X-T4. Though since it is one of Fuji's top of the line lenses, it does include nice little features like weather sealing. The 16 to 55 is moisture and dust resistant, and it can also withstand temperatures of negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you're ever in the freezing snow and you're taking photos, you should be fine. And as far as focal length and aperture are concerned, like I said, it is a 16 to 55 f 2.8. Though when you take that into its full frame equivalent, it's more of a 24 to 84 millimeter f 4 lens. It does give you a, a good amount of bokeh, but nothing mind blowing, nothing like the Fujifilm 56 millimeter f 1.8. Though it is a constant aperture throughout the entire focal length, so you don't have to worry about your f-stop jumping up as you zoom in. Now, as far as controls are concerned, it does have Fuji's signature aperture ring directly on the lens. Now this is really nice if you just want to feel more in control of your photography, though I know not a lot of video shooters like this feature. Of course, you can disable it once you're in video mode. The zoom control is also very nice, smooth, no problems there. Though I have noticed that occasionally it can change your focal length randomly. And really the only negative when it comes to controlling this lens is that the focus ring is focused by wire. It is not focused manual. So you can just spin that ring forever. It's not actually changing anything in the lens. Though luckily with the Fujifilm system, you actually can go in the menus and make that focus by wire focus ring feel more like a linear focus ring so you can get more constant, consistent focus pulls. And the last thing in terms of build quality is the lens hood. It's a solid lens hood. It's more or less the same quality as everything else out there in the market for any other manufacturer. My only complaint is that when you're putting it on, it's like a twist friction lock and it just doesn't feel good. It feels cheap. It feels like the one thing they cut corners on on this lens. But if really that's the only thing I can complain about in terms of build quality, I mean, that's really not an issue at all. Now, in terms of actual image quality and sharpness, this lens, of course, kills it in that department. Sharpness wise, I have no complaints. I didn't do any real scientific tests. This is just me actually using it for real world purposes for portraits and landscapes and things like that. And I have had no issues with it so far. And since it is an f2.8, for me personally, for portraits at least, I don't find it like a super joy to use, not because the lens itself or the quality of the image is bad. It's just after using something as fast as the 56 millimeter f1.2 or even on a full frame camera, an actual f2.8 lens, it just doesn't give me the bokeh or the, the shallow depth of field that I really want when it comes to portraiture. And I'm not saying you can't use this for portraits. Of course you can, I've done it many times, but it's just not my favorite lens to use for that situation. As as a running gun lens, again, image quality wise, you're gonna have no complaints at all. It's great, especially for video. I love using this lens for video. It is my go-to lens of all time for video production. It has amazing autofocus. I'm gonna show you a quick live autofocus test right now. So as you can see, it's pretty good at autofocus. It's not the best out there. Of course, Sony cameras are gonna beat this out hands down, but for the Fuji system, there are very, very few lenses that you can actually trust for autofocus, especially in video. And of course, for photography, autofocus is no problem at all. It works great. I had no issues with it. And the autofocus performance can be attributed to the use of linear motors in this lens. Unlike a vast majority of Fuji's lenses that do not use linear motors, they use stepping motors, which are terrible. I actually have a light hitting lens right now, and it's not causing any haze or anything on my image right now. So to Rejects light and flares pretty well as long as you're not like directly pointed into the light source. And the last thing to consider for image quality is vignetting. And as far as I'm concerned, honestly, if you don't notice it for the 99% of images you're taking out there, then it's not a problem at all. I have not noticed any major vignetting on this lens. And of course, every major 
photo editing software out there. It's gonna automatically take away all the vignetting, all the warping issues that any lens will produce. So it's really not something you ever have to be concerned about because every lens has vignetting issues. Every lens has some sort of distortion issues. As long as they're using Lightroom, Capture One, or any major photo editing program out there, it's gonna automatically take away these issues. So all in all, why do I think this is a go-to must-have lens for every Fujifilm shooter out there? It's just because of the image quality you get out of this thing. The build quality is fantastic. The out-of-focus performance is miles above the majority of other Fuji lenses out there. And for what you're getting, a 24-70 f4 equivalent lens, it only comes in about $900. I think this is definitely a must-have lens. Anyway, that was my video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're considering picking one of these lenses up, leave a comment down below, let me know. Or if you think there's another lens that you must own for the Fujifilm system, let me know that in the comments as well. And if you made it this far in the video, leave three camera emojis down below. Let me know you got this far. But as always, my name is Joshua Jomios. Stay sexy, and I'll see you sometime.